Okay, so uh, human-robot interaction is going to be increasingly important. Uh, in many applications, robots are going to have to deal with the uh, challenging uh, environment, uh, challenging tasks, and uh, they need the human. As much as we need the robots to help us, we want also the human to help the robot. So. In those interactions, uh, the human uh, uh, interacting with the robot physically needs a robot that is safe. So we need to build robots that are completely safe. Uh, the other thing, uh, for instance, ML is uh, uh, working on an uh, aspect of how the robot and the human are compatible in terms of the natural motion and uh, uh, understanding a human is very, very important. From the uh, human movement understanding point of view, uh, so we need customized Nazca schedule models together with the human model so that uh, when you analyze human-robot interaction uh, you need to include those Nazca schedule models in the same framework. Yeah. So in general uh, a human robot can interact if the system is safe, if there is compatibility and also if the task uh, and uh, the robot and the human are compatible. So often we introduce a haptic interaction. With haptic interaction, uh, we can map the task uh, to the robot and reflect it to the human in very intuitive ways. So uh, there is a lot of development now taking place with interfaces, human-robot uh, interaction through visual haptic interfaces. And this is something that uh, is going to bring uh, a lot of new uh, potentials for new applications. And my uh, also human robot interaction includes uh, assistive devices. So we need to develop algorithms uh, to understand human adaptation to those assistive devices. Uh, so this is very important for the design of the next generation of uh, assistive devices in human robot interaction. Açıkçası üniversitesi olarak 2014 yılında Stanford Üniversitesi ile ortak kurduğumuz robotik laboratuvarımızda e, ikinci çalıştığımızı yaptık. E, bundan sonra laboratuvarımızdaki e, projelerimizi artırarak Sabah, e, Sabah Üniversitesi, İstanbul Teknik Üniversitesi, Osman Gazi Üniversitesi gibi mobil çalıştığımıza katılan üniversitelerle işbirliklerini daha da artırarak e, projeler yapacağız. Bunda Stanford Üniversitesi'nin ve Georgia Tech Üniversitesi'nin katkılarını göreceğimizi hocalarımızdan duyduk. Çok memnun olduk. E, i̇nsansı robotlar bundan sonra daha da fazla e, hayatımıza girecekler. Biz de Bahçeş Üniversitesi olarak ana temamız olan insan robotlar konusunda daha da fazla çalışmalar yapacağız. So if we talk about sort of the future of mobile robotics, then right now we've seen a lot of static robots like you see right behind me. Now we will actually see for manufacturing that we will start to use mobile robots. So we will have basically factory floors where everything is mobile it can move around and we can gain the same accuracy. This will give us much higher flexibility, it will give us a lot of opportunities. To be able to do this, we need to be able to do reliable mapping, we need to be able to do flexible uh, obstacle avoidance, we need to be able to have it secure in the presence of people. So there's some very interesting research going on, but at the same time there's a lot of really interesting new applications with mobile systems.